Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we once again do another podcast and ask for some gaming news with Logan. Say hi, Logan. Hey, what's up, everybody? Logan here. And uh, CeeLo, welcome back. What up, what up, what up? And this time, we're going to be talking about gaming news with Activision Blizzard's acquisition by Microsoft. And now Sony's stepping in, trying to block it, and saying that Call of Duty is one of a kind brand that you cannot have to yourself and exclusive. What do you guys think? Let's start with uh, Logan. What do you think? Uh, I don't. I don't think Sony has any right to say anything like that because of their history of controlling the market. You know how they had exclusive deals. In the past, with uh, Electronic Arts and Square, so I don't think I don't feel sorry for Sony, uh, and I don't think that they have any right to do it. <laughs> but they're gonna do it. Yeah, I know they're trying to protect their business. But what do you think, Silo? I mean, I think it's a good business move. I, I think we're all gonna be in agreement here that it it's not fair, but don't all these companies kind of do the same thing so they need to kind of protect their investments and uh activision uh is is a big deal to to have exclusive rights to right so i think it's uh i don't think it's fair and i think it's bad for consumers but i think uh it's it's a you know smart business plan yeah i agree that sony is trying to protect their interests for sure but i just feel like it's kind of funny how uh, they're whining a little bit, a little bit too much. You're saying that, uh, I guess Jim Ryan, the head of uh, Sony right now, said that uh, they're surprised that Microsoft offered them basically a contract for three years more for Call of Duty. So basically, they're going to, after Microsoft acquires... They're extending their, 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 their old deal, right? Yeah. After the old deal is done... The old deal expires, and then they, 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 Microsoft agreed for three more years? Yes. After the old deal's done, they'll get Call of Duty for three more years. But in my book, they're lucky that Microsoft even said that. They could say, no, we don't want to give you anything. And um, Sony yeah. said that's that the deal was not good. You know, they're telling the public that it's terrible because, you know, they want basically Call of Duty, uh, you know, forever. And, you know, that's just not a good business. <laughs> no one says forever. I mean, I don't know any contract that says yeah. You can have the well, and you have to look you know? at Activision's standpoint. Activision's standpoint: why they even sold, why they even sold to Microsoft in the first place? Oh, money! It was a, it was, a, it was also a business deal. Yeah, it was about money. But did they have to? They didn't have to. Yeah, well, Microsoft's the only one. Right. Maybe, maybe they were, maybe they were thinking that this is as far mm. as it, it, it can take them, and you know, they probably uh, felt like, felt like. Uh, I don't know how how long has it been? Twenty years? Yeah, a long time. Call of Duty's been on um, everybody's system. You know, actually, the funny thing is, um, the funniest thing about this whole thing was that uh, my, uh, Sony said that you know Microsoft will take over the market share, right? But you know who's number one right now, right? Everyone, it's funny to find out. The Switch. It's a Switch, yeah. Nintendo is actually number one in sales and and in uh, in their consoles, and they don't even have Call of Duty. Yeah. So, yeah. so does that mean that you know you absolutely need this game to succeed? No, uh, definitely Nintendo has proven otherwise. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I think we're all in agreement that Sony's just crying, right? Yeah, pretty They're much. They're just how, crying. Foul. Yeah. How is this different from uh, the software companies, right? Because like Madden has exclusive rights with the NFL, right? Yeah. And had them for how long now? So they do the same thing. Is that that different? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I still yeah, remember those days of same. NFL 2K. What was it? NFL 2K5 was the last one before uh, Madden took over, right? Yeah, they they, they couldn't even yeah. get the NFL license anymore. Yeah, they bought it out from them. And now Madden They, they like, had to do All sucks, Pro. Right? Was it All Pro 2K? Yeah, I mean, Madden is just a copy and paste game over and over again. But, I mean, people still play it. So that's why uh, it still grows on strong. <laughs> right? Exactly. But, yeah, yeah so moving yeah. on, let's talk about some um, games of the future. Right? For me, I'm looking um, to play, looking really forward to play uh, God of War uh, Ragnarok. 
But after that, I'm looking when forward to play uh, Forspoken in 2023. Another Square exclusive only to PS5. So those are two games right now that I'm looking forward to on a PS5. What are you guys uh, looking forward to? Uh, I'm a big... Uh, I watch Evo. I'm a big uh, fighting game fan. I saw the announcement for uh, the new Fatal Fury and you know Street Fighter Six as it was all over uh, Evo. So I'm looking forward to those games. Uh, I'm a big wrestling fan. Do you guys remember the uh, the old uh, Nintendo 64 wrestling games like No Mercy and uh, yeah. WCW World Tour and all that? Yeah, they're uh, they're coming out. Uh, AEW's coming out with a wrestling game. Uh, that's kind of uh, that. you know in the style of the old. Uh, the old uh, No Mercy game. Oh wow, that's like well, I, mean, I don't. Uh, there's there's right? no there, yeah there's there's no there's no release date on that, but and uh, I've played every Sonic game, so I guess I'm looking forward to the new Sonic game, even though it's kind of different. But Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna purchase it right away. Probably w- wait wait a while or play it play it temporarily like i don't think i'll uh i'll buy it on day one or anything but Wait for the uh, holidays. I'm, uh, you know it's yeah it's one of the one of the games i always look forward to i, I played every sonic game especially the 3d in the in the like after sonic adventure yeah my favorite sonic game was what sonic generation so far uh that one's a really good one what about you Cielo? yeah sonic yeah. generations on the 360 yeah that's a good one too yeah, I agree. So for me, it's uh, definitely the new Spider-Man game. I'm looking forward to that one. That, that's 2023, right? Yeah, Spider-Man 2, hopefully. Yeah, if there are no delays. Yeah. Yeah, so that that would be number one. Um, I guess Ragnarok, sure. I, I guess I'm interested in that one, too. Um, what else is coming out? Like, I feel like I don't, I don't know. I don't have a good idea of what's coming out. FIFA 23. That's right. For uh, soccer fans out there... Uh... FIFA is another kind of a uh, copy and paste game, <laughs> just like Madden. I guess. Uh, what are the other games that are coming out in 2023? Forza. Um, actually, not too many from PlayStation for sure. Xbox, there might be more, especially with um, um, what Starfield. Oh, right? yeah. Starfield. Oh, Starfield yeah, should be yeah, out yeah, next Starfield. year for sure. But that looks like a copy yeah. of um, what's that? What's that other game? Fallout. That, um, yeah, Fallout Mass Effect. and uh, no, there's the other one like No Man's Sky, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Skyrim, like that. No, No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's 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 your style. But says the um, definitely makes those type of games where um, action RPGs, you, right? It's more storytelling, interactive, open world. But it does look good. I have, I have to admit that the trailer I saw, it isn't truly 100% next gen because I, it's going to be released on um, all the Xbox old systems, anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, it does look okay. I'll be, I'll admit. Okay, so, yeah. it's something I'm looking forward to. I'm a big Mass Effect fan, oh, so yeah. I'm looking for. Some oh, isn't there a new Mass well, Effect coming out? About that. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, they are making. They're in the works of making Mass Effect. They said it's going to be. They're working on it. That's also all they said. So it could be beginning stages. It's probably going to be what 2025, 26. Oh, wow. I bet you if we're going to see a Mass Effect, not in 2023 or four. I doubt you think that. so? Okay. Well, that'd be nice. Well, games are just getting longer. And that's another question. What do you guys think about this? Uh, games are just taking longer to make. Uh, I've noticed that AAA games, um, they take about like four to five years now. Mm-hmm. It used to be uh, back in the old like Xbox 360 days. Man, games were coming out every two years, right? Or maybe a year and a half. I mean, they were busting them out really fast. Nowadays, it's just... I mean, it could be because, you know, they don't want to um, have everyone, um, you know, kill that work, you know, and pushing them to the edge. But right now, it's, I feel like it's just taking way too long, four to five years. Uh, look at Halo Infinite. I mean, it was delayed a year, and Halo Infinite is... It was, it was, it was, it was released prematurely, too, if you, <laughs> right, if you ask right, me. Right. 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 Yeah. And they, they had a year delay already. Yep. So, like, 343 is getting a lot of hell for that as well. Well, uh, for not producing. If, if, you're, if, if you're getting at, like, you know, should they release it quicker? Look at Halo. That's, you know, that's an example <clears> of <throat> not releasing quicker, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, well, they did, they did a year late. I mean, they actually delayed it for a year. The question is, should they have delayed it two years? Right. You yeah. know? Yeah. 
They should have. In high tech? Yeah, I mean, yes. even more. Because look, what, look yeah. how it was. I mean, you could always cover it up with just releasing seasons, right? And then releasing it gradually, like uh, like how they've been doing. I mean, we still have no co-op, though, right? No online co-op. Yeah. Well, no, there's online co-op for campaign, the campaign. But not for the store. Right? Uh, but that's yeah, about it. But they don't have split screen or anything oh, like that. Oh, you got a local co-op. Okay. Yeah, no local co-op. But they, they um, didn't have, they have, they didn't have it on day yet. one, though. No, no, definitely everything was delayed, way delayed. I mean, that's, So it should have been delayed. The reason why I get annoyed of this is, huh. you know, you buy a $500 system, right? And these games are taking forever to come out. By the time... Most of the games come out. You have like maybe what 10, 10, 11 games that you want to play, right? And then, and then the new system can come out after. Mm -hmm. Most of the systems are what like five to eight years, right? So if you have a span of like four to five years to make one game, you're looking at like maybe a couple blockbusters here and there, but it's like two or three games you're gonna own, right? In the lifespan. Yeah. So that's something I definitely don't like. And I've been playing a lot more indie games because they come out faster, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. I don't know about you guys, but you know, on Game Pass, they come out all the time. So I'm looking forward to those games. And I mean, even if I didn't want to play them, I'm going to try them out because yeah. you got nothing else to do. Well, yeah. the the, 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 tre the the trend has always been like with uh, all the games that everybody's playing now is just to release uh, those free games, you know, like Call of Duty Warzone and uh, Fortnite. And then they, yeah. they make their money off of all the... Uh... Service games, right? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the... It does kind of suck that most of the games are... Yeah, they're becoming more service-oriented where you play the one game forever and that's pretty much Well, it. Fantasy Star is and like buy that all their Fantasy Star stuff, Online. You know, to the end. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. It all started with Fantasy Star Online. I mean, I stayed up countless nights, you know, uh, playing that <laughs> game. Um, yeah, I didn't even go to school sometimes. I was like, oh, my God, the sun was rising. Oh, and I was you like, skipped school bad. for it? Oh, that's bad. I did. Bad. I did. I skipped school, like, twice. Jeez. Like, I just couldn't. I said, I, I didn't need more sleep. I just played all night. Oh, I didn't realize I was playing so much. I would never, yeah, I would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Don't worry, CeeLo. I know a lot of stories where you <laughs> skip school. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I got a lot of stories for you too, uh, Logan. I don't think you were ever at school. You're just you're just talking about one class. So let's not go down that road for me skipping two days, okay? <laughs> but anyways, getting back on subject. Hey. So, we have a game today, right? 20 questions. You're going to um, probably ask me 20 questions, up to 20 questions, and we're going to find out if you can figure out this retro game. That's my only hint I'm going to give you. It's a retro game that's already out. Um, definitely um, a game you played in the past, okay? So, it's nothing new, and that's the one clue I'll give you. So you have twenty right. questions. Okay, so we can't. We can't ask. Can, can we ask like what year was it released? Like that or no? You can ask, like <laughs> say, oh, was this in the nineties or was this in the eighties? Oh, okay. And okay. I will, my answers are going to be yes or no. But you know what? I probably should look up this game <laughs> to make sure <laughs> I get because I didn't because maybe. Um, oh, you don't know it? Huh? I know what it is. Okay. Oh. My first I question know most is, of it, which genre? Is... Which genre is it? Huh? Wait, hold on, hold on. You can't. I can't tell you the genre. You have to ask me. Is it an action game, or you know what I mean? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yes and no right. type question. Yes and no type question. Yeah. All right. All right. I got my Wikipedia up here. All right. So. Okay. Is the game developed by Sega? No. Okay. Is is it well, a fighting game? Well, yes, yes and no in this one. Okay. Um, I would yes say, and actually, no. if it's like you're talking about Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, no. Oh, Power Stone. Oh, it's a beat em up. No. So that's three questions, guys. Uh, is, is it. Power no. I was, I was just going off of uh, uh, CeeLo's uh, 
It's okay. That wasn't it's only a third. three questions. That wasn't a third question. If you're that close, so I'll give it, you that one extra, okay? Is it Power Stone? You can't. <laughs> okay. Another rule. <laughs> Another rule. I have to I forgot to tell you. Don't ask what the game is until you know what it is. <laughs> Because once you if if you know if you think you know what it is, then you have no more questions after that. Okay. You have okay, to be one hundred percent sure. Wait. So then the game stops if I know what it is. I don't exactly. Have to you have questions. to guess what it is. So if you say, "Oh, is it this game?" and then you're wrong, then you're wrong. After three questions, the stops. You have one chance to guess. Okay. And that's why all the question. clues you want to lead up to the clues. All right, so that's three questions. I won't. I, I won't say Power Stone counts. Okay. No, my next uh, question was: Was it developed by Capcom? Um, no. Okay, so it's a fighting game, but not developed by Capcom. Remember, I'm selling. It's not a fighting game in the vein of Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Remember that. That's a no. Is it violent? So how many qu- do I get? One more question? You, no, you have twenty questions. You're on number four. You I only just asked four. a question. I just asked a oh. question. You didn't answer. What was the question? Sorry. Jeez. I I said, is it violent? Yes. Is it violent? You said. So it's not Capcom. And it's violent. Okay. And it's okay. violent. Well, yes, it's it's an action game. <laughs> It kill people. Oh. Oops, I gave it a hint. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, cartoony? Five questions down. Is it cartoony? Um, no, I would. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, could I ask about uh? Is it in a okay? Is it an arcade game? No. Okay. Is it? Uh... Shit. I already forgot the other. Clues. It's not an arcade game, so you gotta go with it. It's uh, strictly console, so. Okay. Um... Is it ninety? Yeah, I think it's nineties. Brian, it started. Yes, I mean I'll give you one clue. It did start in the nineties. Oh, so it's a series. Oh, it's a series. Is that a question? <laughs> Are you going to ask? Is it a series? Is it is it a series? Yes. Okay. And my next question is. What's the latest release? Like, uh, how 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 recent was the latest? Uh, I can only say yes or no. Remember that you gotta phrase it as a yes or no question. Oh, it has to be a yes or no question. Uh, have they released an installment in the past two years? <laughs> I would That's say a yes or no. Question. Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, it hasn't. Not in twenty twenty two for sure. Uh, yeah, twenty twenty. Nope. Uh, okay. okay. So is that like uh ten questions already, right? I guess it more. Yeah. So you got ten more. Um. Is there a character called Scorpion? <laughs> Is there a character called Scorpion? Yeah. <laughs> no. That was kind of a waste, but go ahead. Are there guns in the game? No. Oh, so it's pure pure fighting game, huh? Oh, okay. I think I have a I think I have a guess. Wait. So now what happens? Next question. Well, no, 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 no. You keep going until you, you have ten. You have like. Okay. Can, can I can I make a guess? But then it's over. Then. You oh, okay. Never talking mind. over with Carlo. Never mind. Never I mean, mind. You should we'll, talk we'll keep over asking, with Silo. Yeah. I have a guess. 
Okay. Wait, wait. If you have a guess, tuck it over with CeeLo to make sure that you guys agree. But how do oh, we wait, he said there's no guns. He said there's no guns. No, I know. You guys can talk to each oh, other, right? Okay. But you, you just, yeah, never you mind. Know, you don't have never to. Never mind. My, my, guess, my guess technically has guns. Cool. Yes, there's no guns, but there are weapons. That's there's another no thing. guns, but there are weapons. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not all action games are just, you know, guns. Uh, Is it like Dynasty Warriors? Yes. Oh, oh yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I got Dynasty it, dude. Warriors. Hack and Slash fighting game. <laughs> Old school game I played with CeeLo a long time ago. <laughs> First one was from 1997. And the last one was from 2018. Dynasty yeah, Warriors part six, 9. Right? Oh, 9. Yeah. And all the systems they were on was the Game Boy Advance, <laughs> PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation 2, 3, 4, and 5, PlayStation Portable. So what do I win? Vita. What do I win for guessing right? Well, since you guessed it over before CeeLo got it, I guess, you get a point. A point? We'll add up all the points um, <laughs> until the end of the year. <laughs> For uh, until like I guess if we do this again until uh, December. Oh, okay. And then so we'll, we'll do uh, like we'll a, 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 a for, tally. Uh, best uh, knowledgeable retro gaming god, I guess. Oh yes. yes. Do I get like a title belt? Yeah. Like in no. wrestling, you can. You, I, I'll, I'll I'll get a JPEG of it online and then like kind of Photoshop it out and put Urban on. Okay. Put, <laughs> Who? Okay, is there is there an is there a second game we have to guess or no? No, I don't. That was the only game I had. Like, <laughs> don't play. I think the no guns gave it away. No guns, yeah. See, that was well, a good question. Well, I didn't say anything else. I mean, I was surprised you got it after that. Well, if you say no guns, that that takes away a lot of games, man. <laughs> it probably does. That, but, you know, that eliminates like know. probably there's like seventy five percent of the games. There's a lot of slash games out there, though. A lot of hack and slash games. Yeah. yeah. So I was surprised that you went straight to <laughs> Dynasty Wars of all games. All right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Congratulations to Logan for guessing Dynasty Warriors today. And thanks for CeeLo coming on. Uh, definitely, uh, we'll try to do this every week on Saturday. On uh, Releasing this on probably Monday and maybe later after editing. But uh, thanks for everyone coming by. And yeah, that's it for this week's episode. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.